Hello and welcome to Trashy Speeches. Today's video is going to be another skin combo video and today is going to be Leon S. Kennedy. Let's get into this video. This video is going to be another skin combo video and today's skin will be Leon S. Kennedy which is basically the newest Resident Evil skins that we got in Fortnite. It was this one and also Claire Redfield. Currently they are in the art shop on, on the top tab and they came out today which is Friday the 17th of March. I decided to pick up the Raccoon City Survivors Bundle, which comes with the Leon S. Kennedy, Claire Redfield, Leon's Combat Knife, Umbrella Power Sign, also the back rings for the respective characters, which is the attached case for Leon, and then the RBD keys for Claire Redfield. And the bundle itself cost 2,100 V-Bucks, so if you do want the skins, I'd probably suggest you guys pick up the bundle, because it's quite a good thing, and I do like it all, because I know when it came to, when it came to Chris and Jill, like to get the, you buy the, I'm pretty sure you buy the skins together with the bundle and then the pickaxes were bundled. So on this one, I decided to bundle the pickaxes and the skins together, which was pretty cool. So I never picked up the ones for Chris and Jill. So there's like a stun rod I did want, but I didn't want to buy, or I didn't have enough V-Bucks to buy the pickaxes separately. So they do come back, I'll get them. But anyway, I decided to do Leon S. Kennedy first because of the Resident Evil 4 remake is coming out on the 24th of March, which is next Friday. And as you can play the Resident Evil 4 Chainsaw demo now, and I played it, it's pretty cool. I was pretty good. I'm excited. I already pre-ordered the game. So I thought I'd get Leon done. And I'll probably get Claire done as well. Let's get into the first combo. The Leon S. Kennedy skin doesn't have any edit styles. But either way, it's a pretty cool skin. Part of the Raccoon City Survivor set. So for all these combos, or most of the combos, first five, I tried to do combos that would match with basic items from either the skins. For example, the Leon skin, the Claire, the Chris, or the Jill. And you use those and combo with those items. And then the, later on in the combos, I decided just to use the ones that kind of make sense. And then some of the last ones are just ones I just put together, which I thought would work very nicely. The back thing I just tried, decided to use was Green Herb. And this is part of the Stars team set. I'm not sure if it's Chris's or Jill's back bling, but either way it works nicely. And I decided to go with the Blue Herb style. But you can use the Green Herb or Red Herb. It's totally up to you which one you'd like to use. Pickaxe to start use is Electric Crescent, which is Flake Power's pickaxe. I use this because it goes very nicely with the blue herb. Umbrella to start use was the one shot, which is from the John Wick game mode from Chapter 1, Season 9. So you basically had to get a victory on a John Wick Bounty's LTM. I wasn't too sure what to use. I decided to whack this one on. I decided to whack on Ballistics, because I thought, obviously, you shoot, on, um, you shoot bullets in, in Resident Evil, and it's the only one, only contract that really makes sense that I do own. And the rapid side to go with was Ripley once again to go with the pickaxe and the and the red herb, no sorry the blue herb style for the green herb black bling basically. Let's move on to the second combo. I decided to use the saving keystroke, which is basically a typewriter, and it is from part of the Stars team once again. And I'm pretty sure uh, I'm not exactly sure which one it is either. It's either it has to be either Jill or Chris. I'm not sure which one it is. But either way, I decided to back this one on. Pickaxe I decided to use was the combat knife because. Uh, in, in Resident Evil, you can basically use a combat knife and like slice things and all that good stuff. So I thought I'd use this one. And obviously, I know we got the Leon combat knife or Leon's combat knife. So I thought I'd use this one because it works nicely as well because it's a combat knife. The rapid to decide to use is Boogeyman just for the black to go with Leon's trousers and his gloves. So I was trying to find a wrap to go with his blue, his blue um shirt, but I couldn't really get one to get ni to go nicely with it. So I couldn't really combo with that. So that's why I decided to use the black of the Boogeyman wrap. Let's move on to the third combo. I decided to use the RBD keys, which is Claire Redfield's back bling. And basically in Resident Evil 2, you can basically play as Chris and you can play as Leon. So obviously you have two different campaigns. So that's why it's pretty cool. You have the RBD keys and basically you had to go around, especially in the RE2 remake or Resident Evil 2 remake, you had to go around, grab keys to open different doors. So that's why it's pretty cool. So that's why I thought I'd work on this back bling. Pickaxe I'm using is the Leon's Combat Knife. The cool thing with Leon's Combat Knife, let's say when you bring your gun out and you put it away, you put it back into his knife pocket, basically. And his little knife hand on his leg. And when you get it back out, you pull it out of it, which is a pretty cool detail. The rapid decide to use was just scan line, just to go with one of the colours of the back of the RBD keys. So you can see you have pink, you have red, you have blue, you have green. So either way, you can use any of those colours, or you could use brown, I guess. But I decided to go with the, the blue key and just use the scan line. I do really like this wrap a lot. Let's move on to the next combo. I decided to use the attached case, which is Leon S. Kennedy's back bling. Pickaxe I'm using is the Umbrella Parasol, which is Claire Redfield's pickaxe. And I decided to combo the candy cane. This works absolutely perfect with the Umbrella Parasol. And it's just pretty cool. What's this sound like, actually? Sounds pretty cool, actually. And the wrap just works absolutely perfect with the umbrella. I thought as soon as I saw the umbrella power side, I thought, boom, going to whack on the candy cane. Works absolutely perfectly. Let's move on to the fifth combo. I decided to whack on the 
Boomstick, which is Ash Williams' back bling. I decided to put this obviously in Resident Evil. You can pick up a shotgun in Resident Evil 4 like this. You straight and start the game in the village. So I thought it just works absolutely perfectly with this skin. And this is part of the Nobi Cabin Nightmare set. So basically when the Ash Williams skin came came out in Fort Nightmares last year, which was in Chapter 3, Season 4, you, this was basically his back bling. Pickaxe, I decided to use Obi-Wan's blade, which works very nicely. It kind of looks like a combat knife once again, so that's basically why I used it. And the wrapper I decided to use was the Rogue Archaeology to go with the brown of the Obi-Wan's handle and the brown of the shotgun, I guess you could say, the wooden stock. Let's move on to the next combo. I decided to use the hollow back and I decided to just use the sticker F, that like F, pay for your respects, so kind of like if you die type thing. So that's basically the reason why I use this sticker, which is the sticker F. Pickaxe, it's a Daryl's knife, which is Daryl Dixon's knife, part of the Survivor in Arms set. Basically, Daryl Dixon from The Walking Dead. I thought, once again, knives works very nice. I know he doesn't use dual wield knives, Leon S. Candy in Resident Evil, but I thought it's still knives and it works nicely. Wrap inside use with Stealth Black, which is an item shop black wrap you can buy. So, the, this wrap is usually in the item shop when the, the customized your skin, the wraps usually come out, like the Ed, especially with the Errant and the Glitch. This has been coming in the item shop pretty often when they come out. So, obviously, if you do want this, keep an eye out for the Errant or Glitch. I'm still waiting for the older version of the wrap skins. I do like Glitch and Errant, but I prefer the ones where it like, covers more of the skin. Let's move on to the next combo. I decided to use the Sheriff's Duffel solely because in Resident Evil 2, it's like basically it's like his, uh, Leon's first day as a cop, so I thought Sheriff Duffel. I know he wasn't Sheriff, I just thought, obviously all the guns and all that. It makes sense, obviously, him being a police officer and all that, having all the guns on his back. So basically, that's why I decided to use the Sheriff's Duffel. And this is basically Rick Grimes' back bling. And this, the Rick Grimes skin came back last year. I had just had to pick it up, and this works very nicely with this combo. Pickaxe decided to use as a Harley hitter. Just I put this on mainly just because I like pickaxe. I wasn't really sure what to combo with the Sheriff, the, the Sheriff's Duffel. But it does work very nicely. And the wrapper decided to use was Leroy Freestyle, mainly for like the black and the blue, because the, uh, the black of Leon's trousers and the blue of his shirt. Let's move on to the next combo. I decided to use the Banner Shield, and I essentially just decided to use like a handprint, kind of like as if like a zombie, obviously like a like a zombie putting up their blood, or like somebody like say in, in the process of like bleeding out, for example, like dying. They're like like their handprints everywhere. So I was literally trying to find a banner that was like a zombie or looked like a husk from Save the World. But I couldn't really find anything to um, to basically make that work. I guess you could also use this one and make it, maybe make it red. But I guess the things are always, the picture's always white. So you couldn't really get away with doing that. So I couldn't really find anything that looked like a husk. So that's why I decided to go with like a handprint. Pickaxe is the Catwoman, Catwoman's Grappling Claw. It still is one of my favourite DC pickaxes that I do own. I decided to whack this one on because it does work very nicely with this combo. And the wrapper decided to use a Shadow Angular Shift, just mainly for the black, but the white does go pretty nicely with the back thing as well, because obviously black and the white. Let's move on to the next combo. I decided to use the Backstabber, and this is part of the Team Toxic set introduced in Chapter 3. Sorry, Chapter 2, Season 3, and I'm using the black edit style. I'm pretty sure this was a starter pack. There you go. It was the the yellow the yellow jacket starter pack was the back where this back brings from. So, yep. So, basically, the back I'm using now is from the yellow jacket starter pack. Basically, save the battle route starter pack, which you've got 600 speed bucks, the venom skin, this back bling, and a pickaxe. And basically, this is the back bling from that pack. And it works very nicely. It has a knife on it once again. Pickaxe is a crowbar, just because I really like the crowbar. And this is the exclusive one from Chapter 1, Season 5, which you've got for doing the getaway game mode to get some challenges done on that. So if you don't have this one, just whack on any black-themed pickaxe work. Nicely. I was either going to use this or the Vision, but I just had to go with this. The wrap here I find goes very nice, which is a paradigm shift from Chapter 3, Season 4, Part of the 7 set. I'm pretty sure this is Paradigm Reality 659's weapon wrap. I just mainly used it because it goes very nicely with the back thing itself, because it has like a bit of a grey, black and a blue, goes nice, and also the black of the crowbar, and the black and the blue on the Leon S. Kennedy skin. Let's move on to the last combo. I decided to whack on the birthstone backplate, solely just because in Resident Evil, you have like puzzles where you have to like move, jewel, like move jewels around, you can find jewels as treasure in Resident Evil 5, for example, to sell them, you find them in Resident Evil 4, so I thought just whack it on the jewels, so I have to look at what colour jewels there were, so I decided to go with the garnet one, but you can obviously switch up to different colour jewels if you like, but I find this background works very, works very nicely for that. Pickaxe I'm using is Scratch Mark from Chapter 1, Season 7, and his links is 
pickaxe from that season. I decided to go with the colour blue because it has black and blue. It goes very nicely with the Leon skin. And the wrap I'm using is Morphic Blue. Just solely because of the blue and the black and it changes. It's quite a cool wrap and I don't use it enough. And this is from the Chapter 2 Season 4 Battle Pass. And is Mystique's weapon wrap from that season. So that is all the 10 Leon S. Kennedy combos done. I really did enjoy making these combos. I was waiting for these skins to come out. And I tried, as I said, I tried my best to get as many of them done. But I was like related to Resident Evil. And some of the other ones, I did my best. But either way, I did enjoy making them. So if there is any other videos that you see, skin combos, effect drives, back bling combos, anything Fortnite related, could be cosmetics from, say, this season's Battle Pass, for example. Or could be any Battle Pass, any art and drop. Feel free to welcome in the comments. You know, it could be any type of cosmetic. I don't mind. I'm always down to try something different. But anyways, that was pretty decent.